Um, hi everybody. I'm gonna uh, start um designing the uh, exterior of that house, and I just have a tray of things. I figured I'd share it with you before I um attach it to the um, the outside of the house. I have a brass duck. I had him in the living room, but I think he may look cuter outside. I'm not sure. I may put him back. And then I have a well. In the Tudor period, they did have wells. You know, they had to get water, so they had to have a well. And then I have a little rake. I don't think they had rakes like this, but remember, I'm doing a revival, a Tudor revival. So, um, it's like a revision. It's a cow. And they they were very uh, into um, farming. So I'm, I have a lot of farm animals. As you'll see, I'll be pulling them. I have a cow, a duck, and then that bigger cow. I guess I'll sit them here so you can kind of see them. Yeah, all right. And then I have some wreaths. Remember when I designed the house, it was like the Christmas month. So some of the rooms have Christmas um, ornaments and trees. So I'm going to put these on the outside of the house. And then I have like some floral pieces. Some fencing I may or may not use. There's really not much space on the outside of the house. I might put it back on the dining table and extend it. I'm not sure how to think about it. Because then when guests come over, I have to move it. And I really don't have anywhere for the house. i got to find a spot. Here's a beer. And this is a sheep. They really use sheep. They use sheep for meat, wool, and milk. Yeah, so they really use sheep or lamb. And they did harvest wheat. I may incorporate some of that. Here's another Christmas ornaments, pine cones and berries. And they would have made something like this out of the, um, the pieces that fell from the garden. You know, they had a lot of downtime. They did the farming in the morning and then they had downtown in the evening and they would do a lot of arts and crafts. I have a cute little cheer set. I think this is kind of like a I don't know, like a cast iron. It's really cute. I bought it from an antique shop long ago. I put a frog in one. He's cute. <laughs> I guess I'll leave him. You know, I like a little whimsical when I'm uh, designing my uh, doll houses. And then we have a beautiful pine tree. We have some beers. Which are like a polar beer, but I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate them. But I just did pull them out. Because they're quite whimsical. I even have one in, in a canoe fishing, so that's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah. And then they definitely had their pigs. Oh, no, he got his little foot chip. Let me see if I can find the chip and glue it back on. I'll just touch it up with some pink paint. But he's just too cute. Little porcelain pig. And there's another pig. So I definitely would do a small little pig area. Here's another sheep, a baby sheep. Another little cute pig. And then I have like a water pail. Um, a few birds. He's too cute. I was going to do a little Halloween area. Because in the revival period, they did celebrate Halloween. So I have a few little husk and scared clothes. I may or may not. It just depends if I have the space. And then I have a few pumpkins. A few pumpkins. Make like a little pumpkin patch. Like I said, it just depends on the space. And I definitely would incorporate this, a wheelbarrow. They would have definitely used the wheelbarrow. And this is handmade. This is what they would have had. Made out of uh, the logs and the bark, just what they picked up around the house. And then I have some pine cones inside. I really want to use that piece. It may or may not be too big. And then I have a flag, which I know that wouldn't be in a Tudor house, but I still want to use it. It's a vintage, beautiful USA flag. It's just gorgeous. And then I have a haystack. I may use it. 
I may or may not use this. This is like a little um bird house. And then I have some more birds. So I may or may not use the haystack. Maybe near like the bomb area or like if I'm going to do the Halloween. And then I have a few statues to kind of decorate with. I'm not sure. I may, may or may not use them. And I have another pine tree. This one is wooden, so I definitely will use that. And then I have some greenery. I have tons of this stuff to, like, make grass out of or just bushy patches. And then I have a few other little trees that I may use. Anything else out? No, I don't think I have anything else out. And then she has like a, a little duck. She's feeding a duck. So I may put her near the duck area. I thought that was kind of whimsical and cute. And then she's like sitting in like a barn. You see she has like a, a, a wicker basket behind her. She's holding some kittens. The kitten on top and then she's sitting on hay. So, I mean, I think that would be cute near the barn area. You know, just for something whimsical, and you want to add some people around the outside of the house. And then I know they did push their babies around in carriages, but uh, this carriage is not, it's not modern style. It kind of has a vintage style. You see the little, uh, the wing that you would lift up and down. Oops. Excuse me. So I may use the stroller. I'm not sure, but that was really cute. A few more pieces I guess they just didn't make it in this pile but yeah so what I'll do is I'll try to film as I'm going it's kind of difficult because I don't have a ring light to stand here and hold it but I'll try and use um I'll try and I'll try and do it oh I also have a dog he's cute he definitely going to outside of the house but he looks like he's ready to play <laughs> and then I have just a few more little bird items, kind of whimsical. That's a parrot, and I would probably like stick this to the house, and it, or or even like on the tree. That would be cute, you know, like to put it on the tree somewhere. Okay. Hope you enjoy. Just a little short video. Okay, so this is the back of the house, and I'm gonna start decorating it. Move a few pieces. I already put like some grass down and two pine trees right here. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well. So maybe these little things could go here. So I've never really filmed where I was working, but um I gotta start getting used to that because I know people would like to see that. So I'm gonna get started right now. <laughs> I don't know, I wish the grass was a little thinner. It's kind of thick, but I broke it up the best way I could. Cause I want it to be kind of flat. And so I'm just using, you know, some garden more that you would use in your planters. I have a lot of bags of these. I pick them up every time I'm in like arts and crafts stores. Just for projects like this. Okay, here's some picks. Some, uh, maybe we'll put the sheep in here. Maybe we'll put the sheep in here. Put one back there. Here's a cow. Cows and sheep could stay together, I think. I've never been, like, I never farm. I have garden. I do like to garden, but I never farm. Yeah, I think that looks cute. All right, where's the other cow? Add some more cow. Maybe one on the outside, because cows do, uh, they uh, graze, right? The, uh, the grass? Yeah, they come out in the daytime to graze. <laughs> All right, I think that looks kind of cute. I guess you guys will let me know. Please don't forget to comment on any little thing.
please don't forget to come. It's really important. Okay, we put the door. I guess the door could be there. And what else do we have? We got this. We have that. And I also found another little barrel, a little red one, because this one may be just too big for the space. But let me put this one first. Well, actually, that one's too little for the space, so I can't use the red one. In fact, this doesn't even have any, should it have some, a back wheel or something? I don't know. And maybe we'll add her in. I hope you can see this far back. But what I'll do is when I'm done, I'll uh, turn the camera around and show the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll put the pigs on this end. I still got some leaves, the white ones. I was going to put them here, like flanking the house, but I'm thinking on the other end will look cute too. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Let me do that. And then we'll put the pigs in there. Okay. All right, that worked out perfect. I don't know if there's room for three pigs. Maybe just two. And then I did want these to flank the door. I don't know. Oh, I added a door back here. It's a fake door. <laughs> just for some drama. It's actually a picture frame. Is it a picture frame? Let me show it to you. Because it's not even, I didn't glue anything down. It's so cute. It says, if at home you do not find us, leave a note that will remind us. It's so cute. And it has like a little brass uh, dog. Oh, so you leave notes inside. Okay, and you could nail it. I didn't know that. I never, I never actually even read it. But it's in the shape of a door. A door. So I put it back here. And I thought these were cute because it has a little Asian style and then the Tudor style, the Vivision and the Reviro of Tudor, they did uh, incorporate Asian pieces. So that's why I picked those because I have a any I have few of those little statue things I could have chose from, but I chose those two because of the Asian little style. Okay, now we have the the duck, uh, the duck. Where could the ducks go? Maybe here. I was going to do like a small little pond for the ducks, but I don't think I am. You know, less is always better. Yeah, that looks cute just like that. And uh, I want to put my scarecrow in. He is too cute. I might have to glue him down. And then the little hus lady. She's so cute. She has a, um, she's a Christmas ornament. Maybe it. Uh, maybe add a few pumpkins. Maybe a few of the pumpkins. So like a little pumpkin patch. Not sure. Maybe one here. And then one there. Okay. And I did want to use this little bush of flowers, but I don't see where I could put it. Maybe here? Oh, this was actually easy. It went so smoothly. I think that could be enough for the back area. I have a few pine cones. So I'm going to put a few. You know, I have some gold. Like, they're like charms. I have a few gold charms. I'm going to, um, a few brass, um, <laughs> a few gold, um, pine cones. I'm going to throw them around. I got to find them now. I don't know where they're at. So the only thing, I need to put a, some grass in the front of the house. I mean, the, 
front of the door. I'm going to show it to you in just a minute. I know the angle's not too good, but that's the best I can get. Um, hopefully my ring light's on the way. It says it'll be here Thursday. What's today? Oh, today's Wednesday, so that's tomorrow. It was delayed because of the holiday. I ordered it. Had I ordered it prior to that rush hour, I would have had it already. But like I said, I don't know if I'm going to like it. I got to see because I got to adjust to it. But I think you can get better shots when I'm doing things like this. And then I'm going to have to um, add grass all around the sides of the house. i got to just keep going with it. So you kind of get the idea. Okay, do I want to add anything else? Oh. I need to glue these to the windows, too. Um, I guess you can see that, too. I can just push it up. All right. Okay. So what I did is I like attached a little paper to the back. See right there so I can have something to attach it to the windows. And I'm going to put one here. Do I want to put it on the window or the, I think on the window. Let me see. Yeah, you put it on the window, right? Or do you put it up there? I don't know. I never decorated with wreaths on the outside of the house. But I'm going to put it up here. Oh, it actually looks nice on the window. Okay. I'm just wondering about the inside, how it'll look on the inside. So I'm using a glue gun to just add a little glue. And I'm just going to stick it. You hold it for a few minutes and it should stick. That's why I love uh, the glue stick. They work so good. <laughs> Let me see if I like that. I'm going to stand back. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would have liked it up top better. Yeah. I'm going to take that off. I like it up top better. So you just have to pull it. Oh, no. The whole paper stayed. <laughs> this is... Um, what happens when you're building. But one thing about the glue stick, see, it came right off. See? So that was no harm done. And there's still a little paper there, so I can just easily re-glue it. So let's do that again. So my initial vision was to put them up here, and so I think that just looks better. Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, I like that much better. Let's get the other one. I'm going to hold it for a few minutes. One thing when you're working with the glue stick, it leaves like little strings, so just pull them and uh, try to pull them on. Okay. And then I had this beautiful, beautiful pine, it's pine cones and little berries. I don't know where, I, I think this came in a bag. I had bought a grab bag of like Christmas ornaments and that was in there. And I automatically knew I was going to use it from one of my doll houses. And this is perfect. I've had it for years. And I've always wanted to use it. I'm just not sure where would it go. Oh, I put it there. Yeah, it has to go in the center because it's just one. You can't see that high up, can you? I think I could push. Does this thing go back? No, it doesn't go back anymore. Sorry. Okay, I'll zoom you in in just a minute. Mm. 
don't know about that piece. Maybe we'll use it somewhere around. It's not it's not doing what I what I want it to do. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see. Okay, so I put that there, the little uh patio set. That looks cute, but I gotta put some grass down. I may even do like a little cobble area under this like the sitting area it may be and I put the waterfall there I think I need to move it over so I need to put some grass down but I think that looks cute I'm going to change that grass out and put some hay in that area because I kind of made like a little pumpkin patch thing going on and then the little girl she's sitting in hay so I'm going to put some hay in there I may leave the pigs there I don't think it came out cute I think she's perfect because she's feeding the little ducks and then I gave her a duck to make a little situation there. That's cute. And that's the door that I was talking about. It's so cute. It's just a fake door, so why not stick it in the back of the house? Um, I think it looks nice. This is my favorite spot right here with the tree. I added a few birds. And then I got to continue around the corner here, which will take some time, but I'll get to it. And then maybe I can clean up my living room. I have uh, arts and craft supplies everywhere. Uh -oh. I hope you like it. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Thanks for joining me and watching me. I really enjoyed this. Oh, I don't know if I'm getting you a good shot. Let me see. Get you a better shot. Oh, it looks, looks lovely. Yeah. Leave your comments and let me know what you think. Get you a close-up. Hey, it looks cute here. Yeah. And then there's the Christmas wreaths. I didn't put that other one on there. It just didn't kind of go. I'll put it on the side of the house somewhere. Okay, God bless. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.